Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at Xenia. This is a Xbox 360 emulator. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. I bet you're thinking that right now and it is. So first you need to head on over to the link that's in the, in the description below. And you'll end up on a page that looks like this. So you now need to click here where it says latest re um, release and we're going to select here. And it now will open up this page and you just need to click on this zip file and we're going to go save. So whilst that's downloading there's also another link in the description that you can click on. And it has a list of games. So basically this is a list of all the games that run at the minute on this emulator um so basically it's got the issue so like here this game deadliest warrior nothing so that game does not work at all red dead redemption it's got gameplay so that means if we actually click on that game that actually means that the game does play but it might crash so you can read the issues here. So people are saying like tested with Xenia. This game has two DVDs. Okay, that's fine. Not really saying much there. Could you try running it? Um, okay, nothing there. Oh, I had no idea release is actually different at this point. Okay, so people actually aren't really saying too much here. But yeah, so you can read the comments and see what people are saying. So like this guy's put, okay, so it's just a hang. So yeah, so basically the game hangs apparently. But yeah, so there's a big list of comments for each game. And as you can see here, they actually got it running here. So that, that's pretty cool. So now back to our file that's just downloaded. So I'm going to drag this file to my desktop. So there's the zip file and we're just going to minimize our web browser now and we're going to extract this file or folder should I say. So once the folder's extracted you will have a xenia.exe so we're just going to double click that and that is your emulator. This is the bare bones the main emulator and as you can see We've got the latest version, you know, this is the latest version, the 26th of February they updated it, it's the 28th today. So, it's going to have a lot more, um, a lot more games that are supported for it. Because they're constantly updating the emulator, making it a lot better and support a lot more games. So, you now need to go to open and you'll select open and then you need to get your um rom file so you can either open a iso or an xex file so you've got all your supported files here so once you've gone onto the internet i'm not going to show you how to do this part because it is illegal unless you own the game already so if you have an xbox 360 console and you do have the games then you are allowed to download them as far as I am aware. It's not so much illegal then. Because you already actually own the game and the console. So obviously unfortunately I can't really show you where to download um, the games from. But I'm sure a simple Google will help you out with that. Hint hint. Okay so once you've done that you're going to simply press open. And you're going to double click. Um, the game so you're going to put it into your folder so you can simply create a new folder in your emulator folder and you can just call it games and then you'll put the file in there you will go to your emulator and you'll go open go to games and then you select the file so that's how we're going to run our games in this emulator so here you can obviously you've got your CPU so you know, it's not too much to say about that. You've got your GPU, so you can obviously track your um, frames per second and that. You can change the um, emulator into full screen. So, the emulator itself, it is quite bare-boned at the minute. There's, you know, there's not a massive amount of stuff on it to do. 
but it certainly is one to keep an eye on and I can see them improving it a hell of a lot more in the near future. So I hope this tutorial did help and give you an idea that you can run Xbox 360 games on your Windows 10 machine. Um, as you can see here, there's a massive list of games. Um, if you do come across a game that says, um, is it playable? I can't remember now. Yeah, playable. So if a game's got playable, that means that the game runs perfect with no problems whatsoever. So any games with playable, you can play with no problem. So that is it. If this tutorial did help, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.